Welcome back graduates. So today I want to go over some uh, awesome free and paid themes on the Shopify theme library. Now we do have our own theme and it is a Shopify 2.0 already and also it is by Shopify standards. However, we personally decided not to uh, have this on the Shopify theme library because of um, a couple reasons. Uh, but but mainly because uh, we did not want to be limited. Uh, we have much bigger plans for this and uh, there are some rules and regulations uh, as to uh, putting the theme on the uh, Shopify theme library. So it's not because our theme is trash or, or anything like that. Actually, our theme is pretty awesome, but that doesn't mean that there are not other awesome themes out there. So I wanna show you that. I wanna take some, um, I wanna give some praise uh, to those amazing uh, themes and the hard work behind those developers and designers that went into that. And I just wanna show you that like, not all themes are the same, not all themes, um, work the same way there are there are requirements and features that are must when releasing uh, a theme and, and and publishing them to the theme uh, marketplace uh, as you'll see we have uh, some so as you see we have a feature products we have a compared uh, you'll see that there is a, a, a line of uh, sections that are all required but how they deliver it how they design it and uh, some extra features and settings that's all going to change and uh, what I wanted to show you was, you know, you don't always have to go to that one particular theme. Um, they all work in different ways, all style differently for your own use, for your own niche, for your own uh, brand. And what I want to also say is like, uh, we want to thank the developers and the designers and it takes a lot of time and effort. And so we want to show appreciation, give some awareness and uh, showcase some of the beautiful ones that you haven't already seen um, for your brand and that could be great for your brand. Um, there is a really great one um, by Archetypes, uh, Impact, Motion, Impulse. Uh, those are really great. And then there's Turbo and uh, way long ago, I believe it was District. Uh, but if you go to the uh, Shopify, if you just search up the Shopify themes, and um, you can filter out for, um, by free or paid, I want you to also know that when you go in and store and, and, um, and have an issue with store design or, uh, or don't know where to start, honestly, start with the free because you can do a lot with it. It is underrated. Free is a great uh, way to start. <laughs> And um, not only that, Dawn is a great way to start. Now, if you do have, for example, a handcrafted store, you might want to uh, go for a different style, um, but they're all using the same structure for the free themes. The only thing that's really changing is the class, or is the CSS, I mean. So if you filter out, <clears throat> I'm sorry, if you filter out free, you'll see there's refresh, there's sense, uh, there's ride, Dawn is the most common, um, uh, and then there's spotlight, origin, Taste. And then there's some legacy ones, which was debut. Debut was the um, most common one out there, uh, but they're really beautifully uh, done and crafted, honestly. Uh, but Sense, as you can already see, let's just go into Sense and let's view the demo here. You can already see it's kind of for more beauty and skin products um, and health and, and, and nurture products. Um, and they do a really great job displaying and also writing the code for this so it's not that bad um, and you have a lot of great features and sections here now let's go and look at some paid ones um murmo that's a really common most relevant you can do by most popularity uh and prestige impulse uh are like one of the top best ones out there uh right now just because they have a lot of features and um and, and they're feature rich rich um and their support is probably amazing as well. But Impulse is a really big one. I love the I love the beautiful style with it. Uh, there are a couple options with it. When you go and view, there's uh, there's different skins basically for your theme. So we're gonna have that with our theme as well. Um, but uh, this is for modern. So this one is modern. You know, you it's showcasing fashion. Um, another one could be you know skin. Um, here's okay. So here's some clothes and some like really cool and clothing and bold and these are all really great uh really great themes i definitely uh recommend you looking at these as well i never want to push on uh i never want to push on uh some paid thing if you don't have to uh because you're in this business 
and we're in this business and you're always looking for the best bang for your buck and you always want to see that so go in uh look at these amazing themes all right so let's let's go into prestige prestige is a really really popular one let's go in and let's see why you do have the uh, desktop um, and mobile to toggle back and forth i think they do a really great job with this overlay text a very clean um there is a countdown timer you'll see that there is a countdown timer that is required in every theme just how they um how they go about it and design it is always going to be a bit different uh, but prestige is so beautiful so clean um really nice like scroll bottom um a you know feature products so this is a feature products tab um, that looks really nice and clean the spacing perfect on point um, then you have a nice animated uh, animated button here um, it just kind of oh, those little tweaks uh, are very nice and clean um, i'm sure that in the theme you have options for uh, bottom left bottom right middle um, adjustments for the text i love the icon here you have an icon image you could put that as your logo here our story now remember always as, as a demo uh, it's just a demo and it's what they think is going to be great to showcase their theme with all the features and sections and a, a capabilities it has but remember that you can always redesign it a different way you don't always have to have all the sections uh, that they have on the home page and on the product page um this is a really i love this marquee so a marquee is very common um i love this I, I do think that they did a really good job, especially this, uh, the look right here. Um, now, take in consideration also that when you go in and choose a theme, so choosing a theme is going to be uh, one of the biggest uh, steps in creating your brand for Shopify. So not only do you have the product line and you create the, dis uh, the descriptions and, and the inventory and set that up, and then you set up the payments in the back end and also like the, the, <clears throat> the shipping, things like that, one of the biggest things is that, that uh, I think is really important is also just customizing your theme because of the fact that your customers are gonna go there um, onto your store, they don't have their products right in front of them. So they're basing it off of the imagery, the, the reviews, the, the videos. Um, and so you really wanna make sure it stands out. And I think that's one of the reasons why I love Shopify so much more than Etsy because Etsy is great for just beginners and um, it's not really a storefront that you can really tell your story where Shopify is and the security. So I'm going to stop with this rant. I'm going to continue going on. But I, I just love how they embedded a countdown timer, a sense of urgency. That's a huge thing, um, especially when you're driving promos. Um, here is a image with text. That's very common in a section. You'll see that. Again, like I said, here's a compare and contrast. Other, a lot of other themes do it in a different way, but it's just really beautifully done. This is a really great scroll. It takes, um, it takes, you know, a, it, it gives a lot of information for the customer in just a sh small, short area. So let's think of, let's look at how mobile uh, looks. You always want to uh, optimize for mobile uh, for your design as well. So you want to take that into high consideration uh, when you're choosing a theme. Now, uh, one of the great things about choosing a theme, um, giving pros and cons really, is uh, when, you're, when you're testing out a theme on the, uh, from the uh, Shopify theme library, you can uh, demo it, you can have a trial run before, and you can test and design. And then once you do that, you can pay for it. Um, now other themes, um, now other themes like Day Beautify, Day Beautify is amazing as well. They did a great job. Uh, they provided a free theme and then added on some snippets and things like that. That is a great um, approach. Uh, we didn't do that approach, but we do have a demo. Um, we have a lot of uh, features and uh, everything is displayed there for you to see before. Um, everything's not hidden. We're very transparent in what you get. What you see is what you get. Um, and there is for, for, for here, there's an unlimited free trial, but then you pay when you publish. There, so there's always that um, when you go to the theme library. Um, what I wanted to check out, so Prestige is a really great theme. Um, what I want you to check out is another one, Vision. Vision is a uh, vision or focal theme, has been uh, a really big top seller. And uh, remember that this is a demo store for all these uh, for all these types. So this is more electronics, but you don't have to, you, you have to kind of envision, no pun intended, envision your, your products, your product line with this theme and how you can uh, use the section. So you don't have to always use like this can be uh, a banner 
um, or collections or leading to collections, leading to a different page, things like that. Definitely, there's so many different use cases for the sections and you're not just limited to what that section might be exactly, um, except the more common ones like feature products or feature collections. But I think vision is a great theme. Um, if you haven't already, I do think that you should uh, test it out. Uh, there's a lot of great features with this. They really do do uh, a really great job with the animations um, that pull in the customer to focus on that certain area. Um, here's a nice grid system where a lot is jam-packed into one. <clears throat> and then again, their different, their different style of marquee. I love that. <clears throat> Every, everything is just very nice and clean. Uh, and here's their own, here's their own like uh, jam-packed information on a scroll, parallax scroll. So that's that's awesome. And then, you know, we have our own too, but it's just different. Uh, every theme is different and you're just going to have to kind of go in and test and, and see what works for your brand, what works for your company. And there is something called theme fatigue, uh, design fatigue. And so what that means is if you have a design and you go get a design, a custom theme or a design from somebody, just make sure that they are uh, reputable. If you get the design and you have it for about six months to a year, that's about the right time where maybe you want to uh, test out a new design. Now, when you go and test a new design, you don't want to always change up everything and keep the same layout, keep almost the same layout because then you can see what's working, what's not. If you change everything um, after a year, you're not gonna know what worked. Um, so keep things when you're transitioning from theme to theme and keep a lot of the things because also your customers, when they're going to, when they're going to go in, they want things um, to be almost similar because if you're having repeat customers and they're having a hard time navigating uh, through your store, they might bounce off or, it just it, it would just take them a long time to uh, figure out how to navigate and that's another thing is uh, really important is when you're looking at a thing you want to see their navigation you want to see how um, how accessible it is this one has a great mega menu I think a lot of them do require uh, mega menus um, so I mean look at just how clean this is I love the animation on on here about the they showcase the cards. Look at that. The cards within. This is a cards with image kind of uh, section. It just looks great, and also every all the information. All the information is there on desktop. And they did a really good job. Um, that's that's great. That's that's their style. This is Vision style of uh, that same parallax on the other store uh, with scrolling down. Um, where this is like a FAQ, basic FAQ. Now, the thing about these are, these are great sections and you're not limited to them on the homepage. All these stores are Shopify 2.0 ready. So what that means is, for example, if you really love this section and it's on the homepage, you can have this on the, on the product page and just have different information. You can have an image or a video like it's displaying now. Um, and if you know already how to leverage meta fields, dynamic sources, do that, that's great. And so you don't have to have as many uh, custom page templates loved by customers. Um, these are the style of the testimonials. Most themes, if not, are gonna have their own style of testimonials. Now, unfortunately, these aren't, the testimonials cannot be driven by um, by the products. Like, uh, you need a backend API, you need all that software stuff in the backend. So no review on here is going to have it connected to the review app um, unless you have a review app um, like judge me luke's smile um, but they don't connect to these to these at all um, and then here's some banner things some great articles you also want to make sure when you're looking and sifting through the theme choices that you that you're uh, that you're choosing from that the articles uh, the article layout is is good it's uh, structured nicely um, then you have the icons and a footer uh, a really great important thing is footer structure um, so if you like this style um, but again one of the things I also wanted to let you know is a theme. When you get a theme, you're not set completely in stone with that theme, meaning like if you go and hire a developer, they can go in and adjust it, you know, adjust it to more of your liking. You're just using that structure. Let's try focal, for example. And my, uh, my computer just froze. Uh, so one last other one that I really like, Focal. Um, this has a lot. Now this is pretty pricey, but you get a lot for you get a lot for what you <clears throat> what you pay for. That's one of the things. Let's just uh, go in, uh, view demo. Um, this is a very 
clean store. It's uh, very um, square. <laughs> uh, so again, this is their feature products tab. Looks nice. I'm sure they have animations here. I really do love Focal. Um, if you go into it, it's a bummer. Uh, if, if you really go into the code, um, I'm pretty sure that it's really nice and clean, especially for the fact that it is for the masses. But not only that, you, they want other um, developers, just like our theme. We want other developers to go in and um, and adjust it to even more your liking um, because that, that helps your brand, that helps uh, your company make more money as long as you can go in and it's not like you're stuck to that exact style and theme then then you're fine so i really love the slow animations here and and the lookbook so the lookbook is another great feature um that is i, I believe now required mostly by uh by shopify theme so what that means is when you just hover over you you can see go to the product and and go quick view and there you go add to cart and so so less friction than uh way before when shopify in like 2011 anyways um but what <clears throat> the gist of this uh this video is i want to uh, we wanted to go and uh showcase a couple of the really great they're all great actually great themes out there not just ours and you do have more than one to choose from and we want to thank you for uh, when if you do choose our theme. We want to thank you for choosing us because we know that there is so many other themes out there, and I uh, just want to give appreciation that uh, it it takes a long time uh, to develop such a masterpiece um, and for people to use it and the great reviews uh, behind it. But definitely take a definitely take a look and uh, and thank you so much.